Hello students my name is Arok Semwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about paper chromatography In general paper chromatography is a technique of analytical chemistry which is used for separating dissolved chemical substances by taking advantage of their different rates of migration across sheets of paper Paper chromatography is an inexpensive but powerful analytical tool. Its main advantages include very little sample requirement. Principle of paper chromatography. Paper chromatography is a type of partition chromatography which is based on partition phenomenon. In partition substances are distributed between two liquids one is a stationary liquid which is held in the fibers of the paper and other is the moving liquid or developing solvent stationary liquid is known as stationary phase and moving liquid is known as mobile phase because of difference in the migration rates of the components they become separated and appear as spots at different points on the paper types of paper chromatography paper chromatography is divided into various types according to the method by which it is performed few of them are descending chromatography ascending chromatography ascending descending chromatography radial paper chromatography and two dimensional chromatography first type is descending chromatography in this technique the solvent moves towards downside when the development of the paper is done by allowing the solvent to travel down the paper it is known as descending technique second type is ascending chromatography In ascending chromatography development of the paper is done by allowing the solvent to travel up the paper it is known as ascending technique both ascending and descending technique have been employed for separation but descending technique is preferred if the rf values of various constituents are almost same this procedure is not suitable for slow moving solvents that means those having low rf values are not suitable for this method next type is ascending descending chromatography ascending descending chromatography technique is a hybrid of the previous two techniques in this technique the upper part of the paper used in ascending chromatography can be folded over a glass drawer which then allows descending development the complete setup allows the ascending development to change over into the descending one after crossing the glass drawer next type is radial paper chromatography this technique is also known as circular paper chromatography in this technique the spot of the mixture is employed at the center of a round paper held in the flat surface the solvent is fed at the center with the help of tongue touching paper as well as the developing solvent in this technique solvent spreads by the usual capillary force and the components of the sample mixture are separated by radial development in the form of concentric circular spots next type is two dimensional chromatography in this a square rectangular paper is used at first the sample is applied on one of the corners and the mixture is separated by the first development then after drying the paper is turned through 90 degree and separation is carried out in the second solvent 
After locating the migrated unknown sample along with a standard known sample, a map is obtained and comparing their positions with a map of known compounds can identify compounds. Experimental details related to paper chromatography. First, choice of the proper chromatographic technique. The choice of technique depends upon the nature of substances to be separated. Next is choice of filter paper. Choice of filter paper depends on whether the paper is being used for quantitative or qualitative analysis, whether it is used for analytical or preparative chromatography, or whether the analytes used are hydrophilic or lipophilic neutral or charged species. Proper developing solvent Although determining the best solvent may require a degree of trial and error methods, the choice of proper developing solvents depends upon the simple fact that RF values should be different for different constituents present in mixture. Following are different solvents used in paper chromatography in order of their increasing eluting power. The eluting power of a solvent is largely a measure of how well the solvent can pull an analyte of the adsorbent to which it is attached. This often happens when the eluent adsorbs on the stationary phase, displacing the analyte. Such series are useful for determining necessary solvents needed for chromatography of chemical compounds. Next is preparation of samples. Sample preparation includes the dissolution of the sample in a suitable solvent. Solvent used in chromatographic technique should be inert with the sample under analysis. Next is spotting and chromatogram development. In case of ascending paper chromatography, a horizontal line is drawn on the filter paper by a pencil. The analyte solution is applied above the line and dried by a hot or cold air. Chromatogram is developed by immersing the paper in the mobile phase. Due to the capillary action of paper, the mobile phase moves over the sample on the paper. Next is drying the chromatograms. The wet chromatograms after development are dried in hot air oven which are being heated electrically with temperature controls. Next is Visualization. Visualization of chromatograms is done by various chemical and physical methods. These methods are divided into two types. First, non-specific methods and second, specific methods. Non-specific method. In non-specific method, the number of spot can be detected, but the exact nature or type of compound remains unpredictable. Example include determination of spots in the iodine chamber. In this method, brown or umber spots are observed when the chromatographic paper are exposed to iodine vapors within a tank. UV chamber for fluorescent compounds. Compounds can also be detected by exposing chromatographic paper to ultraviolet radiation. Specific method. In a specific method, spray reagents or visualizing agents are used to find out the nature of compound. For example, ferric chloride is used for phenolic compounds and tannins. Ninhydrin in acetone is used for amino acids. Dragon drop reagent is used for alkaloids. Applications of paper chromatography 
Paper chromatography is widely used for qualitative analysis of inorganic, organic and biochemical interests. It is also useful in analysis of mixture of amino acid and mixture of sugars. Thank you.